institution. So suppose that you have a bank that believes that 80% of its customers prefer the bank to close early on Friday but be open on Saturday morning. And suppose also that five customers are randomly surveyed and the binomial distribution applies. So for the binomial distribution applied, the number of customers need to be large. So if you have only uh, 10 customers, 80% of the customers are only A customers. If you survey one of them, now the remaining nine customer, for sure from this nine customer now, is not true that 80% of them prefers this, the Saturday option. So for this to be a binomial distribution example, this number of customers need to be a large number of customers, so in such a way that is 80% is a constant. So we have that anytime I survey a customer, 80% of this customer prefer the Saturday option. Okay, they ask me to develop the probability distribution for the number of these customers. So the number of these customers who like the Saturday option, this will be our random variable. So let's find a solution to this problem. Remember that uh, this, pro uh, this uh, probability distribution is just a table and will be a table that lists all the possible value of the variable and the probabilities. There are not so many possible values. You are just serving five customers. If you are serving five customers, so it means that the possible value of x cannot be 6, for example, or cannot be 7. Though the maximum number of customers of these 5 customers, the maximum number of customers that you can get is 5 customers. You can be so lucky that all the 5 customers prefer the, or like the, the Saturday option. But, but maybe none of them, one of possible value will be 0, for example. Okay, but we know we need to compute the probabilities. And because we are considering that this is a binomial distribution, so for that reason, I'm going to use the formula of the binomial distribution. And the formula of the binomial distribution, if you remember, is the combinations of n so objects taking x at a time, uh, times the probability, this is the probability in each trial. And in each trial, the probability that this customer say that they prefer the, the Saturday option is 0 0.8. Times 1 minus p. And 1 minus p is, in this case, uh, if this p is 80%, 1 minus p will be uh, 20%. So this is the probability of x, the probability that the, the, the random variable take the value x. And I told you that the, the possible values are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah? So you need to take into account also that if you are using a calculator, you can actually compute this in a calculator. You, for example, this can be carried out in a calculator. I have here the BA plus uh, instrument from Texas. So if from this customer, if I want, if, sorry, if I use using this calculator to type this, what I'm going to do is type first the, the N, in this case, N is five, actually, because this is the total number of trials, and, and the, okay, the key combinations. In this calculator, I need to press the second function first, and then the key uh, NCR. Most of the calculator, this is the name of the key, NCR. It is very usu usual that in the, in, in the calculator, the key NCR need to be used pressing before the second function key. In my calculator, that's what happened. And then I press the other number X. In this X are the a value of the variable X. And remember the variable could be zero, could be one, could be two, etc. So let's see, let, I'm gonna type X 
and then I'm not going to multiply. So it will be a multiplication key now, multiplied by the probability to the power x. Obviously, there are some calculators, especially the scientific calculator, that you don't need to type the multiplication if you, if you open a bracket. Because I'm using a financial calculator, I'm going to put this in a bracket, p to the power x, so I'm going to open a bracket, type the number p, the probability of an each trial, in this case, the probability that the customer say, yes, I like the Saturday option. So this p, for in my problem, is 0 0.8. Yeah? So it will be, then open bracket, I type p, and then to the power, the key to the power, and to the power x. And this x will be a variable here in this problem, because this x is the random variable. Yeah? Uh, and and, and I, I'm going to actually make the whole probability distribution, so I'm going to use all the values of x. So x will be actually my, my variable here. And then cross the bracket, and that give, when you cross the bracket in your calculator, you see the answer of this. In, if the calculator is a financial calculator, in most of the calculator, in scientific calculator, you just you are just in the screen looking what you are, what you are pressing, yeah? and then I'm going to multiply one for one minus p, and I'm, again I'm going to put the whole power, the whole exponent function inside a bracket. So I'm going to open a bracket, and then one minus p. People usually call Q this number. In my case, because P is 80%, Y minus P will be 20%. But in, in any case, is this will be a number Q. And then Q to the power N minus X, to the power N minus X, cross the bracket, and then uh, press the equal sign. If you cross the bracket only, when you cross the bracket in the financial calculator, you are going to see the answer inside the bracket. And then you need to press the equal sign to see the answers. In a, in a scientific calculator, maybe these brackets are not needed, because the scientific calculator knows what are the order of operation. So that's what I'm going to do to compute the probability. Okay, so what are the possible value of x? We have that x could be 0, or it could be 1, or it could be 2, or it could be 3, or it could be 4, or 5. Never 6, because I'm going to survey 5 customers. They can, it's impossible that 6 customers, they say, are going to say, yes, I like the Saturday option. Okay, so these are the only possible values in this case. And the probability of 0, to find the probability of 0, I'm going to use this formula. Obviously, to find the probability of any of them. So the formula that I'm going to use will be now, the, in this way, probability of x equal the combination of five elements taking x at a time to the power 0 0.8, because my p in this in the index problem is 80% times 0 0.8 to the power x, to the power x, and x is, is a variable, remember, will be a number between 0 and 5, times 0 0.2, that will be again a constant, that what people call q sometimes, 1 minus p, if this is 0, if p is 0 0.8, 1 minus p will be 0 0.2, 1 minus 0 0.8 and then to the power 5 minus x. n, remember, is the number of trials, and in this problem we are solving 5 customers, so n will be 5. Okay, this is the formula I'm going to be using in all the cases. So what happens is x is 0, I just plug 0 into the formula instead of x, and then I have here that will be probability of 0 equals z by 0, 0 0.8 to the power 0, times 0 0.2 to the power 5. And I'm going to use my calculator in this way. If I have a different calculator, maybe it will be a little different. Maybe you don't need to put the brackets or whatever. Because I'm using the calculator I told you, a financial calculator, I'm going to put this in bracket. And then what I have that the answer is 0 0.0032. You can save time if you notice that any time that you raise uh, something to the power 0 is 1. And also, if you notice that the combinations, if you are taking combination from a group of 5 elements, 
and you are just taking zero elements, so there is only one possible option. So it will be 1 times 1, 0 0.2 to the power of 5. So you actually, in this case, any time that you have 0 here, x equals 0, you can just type 0 0.2 to the power of 5 and just save time. Okay, so the answer was this. I'm going to put this into my table and we have 0 0.00032. Okay, now let's compute the probability of 1. The probability of 1 will be, the probability of 1 will be, just plug a, a 1 into the formula and will be probability of 1 and just uh, substitute x by 1. Yeah? And if you do that in the formula, my answer when I use my calculator, the answer is 0 0.0064. So I'm going to put this in the table, 0 0.0064. Okay, I do that, 0 0.064. And now that I do that, so I go to find what happened if the probability is, if the value is 2, if the, the, the value of the random variable is 2. Okay, so are you going to substitute x by 2? Probability of 2 will be combination of 5 elements taking two at a time, and then will be multiplied by 0 0.8 to the power two times 0 0.2 to the power three. What I get in my calculator is 0 0.0512. And this is the probability of two. Let's put this into the table, 0 0.0512. Now let's see what happens if x equals three. If x is equal three, will be the probability of three we do the same, we substitute x by 3, I use my calculator, and I get 0 0.24ea. And this is the number that must be in the table, 0 0.24ea. Okay, now that I have this number, I go to the next number, 4, x equal 4, if x equal 4, then will be the probability of 4. And the probability of 4 making the same, the answer is 0 0.4096. So this is the probability that four customers say, yes, I prefer the Saturday option. So this will be 0 0.4096. And finally, the probability of five, the probability of five will be combination of five, five, 0 0.8 to the power five times 0 0.2 to the power zero. Anytime that you have something to the power zero, you know that this is one. And any time that the number, as you are taking all the elements, making combination with all the elements, the answer is also one. The number of combination will be only one. So the only thing that you need to do here is 0 0.8 to the power 5. And this is 0 0.3276a. Or you can use the formula. So I put this into the, into the table, 0 0.3276a. And as soon as I finish here, what I'm going to do is just add together all this just to check if the answer is 1. This number, the probability of 0 plus the probability of 1 plus the probability of 2, that is 0 0.0512, plus the probability of 3, that is 0 0.24a, plus the probability of 4, that is 0 0.1496, plus the probability of 5, that is 0 0.32768 and I get exactly one. So I'm good. Okay, so this, this, this is the end of this problem. So we have make a probability distribution of this random variable, it's considering that the variable is, is a binomial distribution variable. Okay, thank you for your attention, and see you in, a, in another video.